Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage Channel. Welcome to our troubleshooting guide for Diagnostic Trouble Code DTC P1454, which indicates an FTP fuel tank pressure sensor circuit range performance problem on 2011 to 2016 Honda CRV vehicles. The FTP sensor plays a crucial role in monitoring the pressure inside the fuel tank, helping to ensure proper evaporation and emissions control. This sensor is typically located near the EVAP, Evaporative Emission Control Canister, which is usually found under the vehicle near the fuel tank. A malfunction in the FTP sensor can lead to incorrect pressure readings, causing the vehicle to fail emission tests and may also affect engine performance. We will step through the process of diagnosing and resolving this issue, including identifying symptoms, potential causes, and specific troubleshooting steps outlined for accurate repair. The fuel tank pressure FTP sensor is essential for detecting changes in fuel vapor pressure within the tank. It influences the vehicle's evaporative emission controls by detecting vapor leaks and helping to maintain optimal pressure levels. Located near the EVAP canister, the sensor can influence various vehicle operations by providing vital data to the powertrain control module, PCM. When the FTP sensor malfunctions, it can trigger the DTC P1454, indicating a range or performance problem within this circuit. Proper diagnosis is critical, both for ensuring compliance with environmental regulations and for maintaining the vehicle's performance. If this code appears, it is important to understand its implications for emission systems and the vehicle's overall health. There are several potential causes for the FTP sensor circuit range or performance issue indicated by DTC P1454. The most likely cause is a faulty FTP sensor itself, which may not provide accurate readings due to internal failure or wear over time. Wiring issues such as frayed, corroded, or loose connections between the sensor and the PCM can significantly affect the functionality of the sensor, leading to disruption in signal transmission. Additionally, blockages within the FTP sensor vent hose or the vent port may prevent accurate pressure readings, also triggering this DTC. Lastly, if the fuel filler cap is not sealing properly, it can create pressure discrepancies that could set off the FTP sensor error. Identifying which of these causes is at play is vital for effective troubleshooting. The symptoms associated with DTC P1454 can vary in severity, but one common indicator is the illumination of the check engine light on the dashboard. Furthermore, poor engine performance may be observed due to improper fuel vapor management, which can manifest as rough idling or stalling. Another significant symptom may be failure to pass emissions tests, as the malfunctioning sensor can cause erroneous emissions readings. Additionally, drivers might notice unusual fuel consumption, either through decreased fuel efficiency or unexpected changes in fuel levels in the tank. Recognizing these symptoms can guide technicians in narrowing down the cause of the issue and taking appropriate action. In troubleshooting, step one, start by turning the ignition switch to the on position without starting the engine. This action powers the system and prepares it for diagnostics. Next, use the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to clear the DTC P1454. Clearing the DTC resets the vehicle's monitoring systems and allows for fresh diagnostic readings. After this, remove the fuel fill cap to alleviate any pressure in the fuel system and allow accurate pressure readings. Wait for one minute to ensure that the system stabilizes and then turn the ignition back to the on position before proceeding. This foundational step is crucial for accurate diagnostics 
and prepares the vehicle for subsequent evaluation. In step two of the troubleshooting process, after waiting for one minute, clear the DTC P1454 again using the HDS. Once cleared, start the engine and allow it to idle without any load, which means placing the transmission in park or neutral. This step is critical as it facilitates the proper functioning of the EVAP system in a controlled environment. While the engine is idling, monitor the EVAP purge control duty or EVAP PC duty. Through the data list on the HDS, the EVAP PC duty should ideally be maintained at 20% or more while holding the engine speed at 3000 RPM for at least four minutes. Finally, check the onboard diagnostics OBD status of DTC P1454 within the HDS. If the HDS indicates failed, you have successfully duplicated the failure and you can proceed to the next step. Now we will proceed to step three in our troubleshooting process for DTC P1454. First, turn the ignition switch to the lock zero position, ensuring the vehicle is completely off. Next, remove the EVAP canister vent shut valve from its housing within the EVAP canister. With the valve removed, connect the two pin connector back to the valve to enable testing. Turn the ignition switch back to the on to position to power the valve. In this step, select the EVAP test from the inspection menu on the HDS and execute the EVAP CVS on in the single solenoid. This action allows you to check whether the EVAP canister vent shut valve operates properly. Assess if the valve is free of corrosion and effectively opens and closes as needed. If the valve functions effectively, there may be blockages elsewhere, prompting further checks. For step four, begin by disconnecting the vent hose from the fuel tank pressure FTP sensor. This will allow you to isolate the sensor and measure the pressure more accurately. With the vent hose disconnected, check the corresponding parameters of the FTP sensor using the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS. You will monitor whether the current conditions match the specified thresholds, which are negative 0.67 to 0.67 kPa and 2.4 to 2.6 volts. Proper readings within this range indicate that the sensor is functioning normally. If the current conditions match the threshold, continue your diagnostics by checking for blockages along the FTP sensor vent hose. Conversely, if the conditions do not match, further investigation or replacement of the FTP sensor will be required as it may no longer provide accurate readings. In the fifth troubleshooting step, turn the ignition switch to the lock zero position to safely access the FTP sensor. Next, remove the FTP sensor from the EVAP canister while keeping its connector attached. This step needs careful handling to prevent further damage to the sensor or surrounding components. Once the sensor is removed, switch the ignition back to the on second position to check the FTP sensor independently in operation. Utilize the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to inspect the parameters of the FTP sensor. Just as before, you will ascertain if the current conditions align with the set thresholds. If the readings fall within the specified ranges, the sensor port may be operating correctly, which may point towards an internal blockage within the EVAP canister itself, necessitating replacement of the canister. If the readings do not meet the criteria, replace the FTP sensor and follow through with the repair verification. For the repair verification step, start by turning the ignition switch to the lock zero position again. Next, properly install any parts that were removed in preceding troubleshooting steps in the reverse order. Once components are in place, switch the ignition to on two to power the systems for testing. 
Use the Honda Diagnostic System, HDS, to reset the powertrain control module, PCM. Performing this reset is crucial to clear any previous diagnostic codes and to prepare the system for fresh evaluations. After resetting the PCM, you will need to carry out the PCM idle learn procedure. Finally, monitor the OBD status for DTC P1454 through the HDS. You should confirm whether it returns a passed status. If it does pass, troubleshooting is complete. If it indicates failed, further investigation may be necessary. To minimize the risk of DTC P1454 occurring in the future, regular preventive maintenance is essential. Schedule routine checks of the FTP sensor and other components within the evaporative emission control system. Keeping an eye on the condition of vent hoses and ensuring that they are free of blockages can help maintain optimal performance. Additionally, it is important to regularly inspect the fuel filler cap to ensure that it seals properly, preventing pressure discrepancies that could trigger diagnostic trouble codes. Lastly, an occasional clear of the EVAP system can aid in keeping the system functioning effectively. Adhering to these preventive measures can bolster your vehicle's emission system and contribute to overall performance longevity. In conclusion, DTC P1454 represents a critical indicator regarding the fuel tank pressure sensor's performance. This sensor plays a vital role in ensuring compliance with emissions controls and overall vehicle efficiency. Throughout this troubleshooting guide, we have taken a systematic approach to identify, diagnose, and resolve the issues linked to this code, detailing each step to provide clarity on the necessary processes. We also highlighted the importance of preventive care to avert potential future occurrences of this issue. By understanding the relevance of the FTP sensor and following diligent maintenance practices, Honda CRV owners can ensure their vehicles operate smoothly and within emission standards. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.